All right, so previously we finished off with the interactions for the network visual. So now you know how to build a visual, how to use it, it's time to go into the formatting options. And the first thing that we're gonna cover is gonna be legends. As always, within the sample report, you already have a pre-built configuration that you can use and further explore, but we're gonna go into the training view and actually build the chart from scratch. So let's go into the training view, add an instance of the network visual, let's just resize it so it fits more nicely into the frame, disable the background and title because I'm not gonna be using those, and then we're gonna be adding region, country into the notes section, and we're gonna add total sales in the measure. So when you first create the chart, you can see that legends are not enabled. And you can also see this if you go into the formatting options and the tab is disabled. So if you want it, this is something that you have to manually enable. If once you do that, you can open up the tab and you can see we have further customization. First thing that you can do there is you can customize the position. The available options for you are gonna be left, right, top, or bottom. Once you choose the position, you can adjust the height for the block to make it, for example, more narrow or more wider. Afterwards, you can, of course, adjust the marker sizes um, to just make sure that you know, all the elements fit in and it still looks nice and neat and it's really visible. Now, next thing you can control is gonna be regarding the fonts. So you can adjust the colors, sizes, font families, and also the styles. So for example, let's just change this to bold italic. Once you do that, there are two additional settings left. The one of them is gonna be floating. Now, what floating allows you to do is for the legends block to overlap with the visual. So for example, if I'm gonna enable this when the legends is at the bottom, it's not gonna create a really good situation because you can see here that the legends are essentially overlapping with the toolbar items. So what I'm gonna do is scroll up a bit more and I'm gonna change the position to left. Now we have it here, but instead of having them one under another, they're right next to each other. And this is where the width of the legends block setting comes into hand. So I can say, for example, that I want the width to be 50%. And now you can see I fit it nice and neatly into the visual. If I disable the floating, you're gonna see that it essentially moves the chart to the right hand side and it kind of creates a cutoff line here. So the floating effect allows you to eliminate these sort of situations. Now we're gonna turn it back on, and the last setting that we have here is gonna be the mode. So you have two options here, either hide or highlight. By default, it's gonna be sitting on hide. What it means is that if I click within the legends on one of the categories, for example, country, you can see that all the nodes that were in the country section are gonna be eliminated from the network. Now, if I click on it again, they're gonna reappear. The other option is gonna be highlight. If I choose that and click on one of the legends, that is gonna create a highlight effect for all the nodes that are in that particular category. All right, that's gonna be it for the legends customization, and I'll see you in the next video.